What's up, everybody? The weekend is almost here. And we'll be back with another... Mm. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> What's up everybody? The weekend is almost here. And we're back with another video and we'll be back right after this. All right, everyone, we are back and it's been two months since our last video. So as you all know, what's going on with COVID-19 and the crisis that's happening throughout the world, we decided to stop and do a video and let you know how we're handling the crisis at home and a, and a and abroad well at first um, I was having a hard time not gonna sugarcoat it he looked at me and said I can see you're getting depressed and he thought it was because I couldn't go out and go to work that had nothing to do with it I was more worried about what was going on outside and when I did leave I actually didn't leave the house when they told us that we were going to be working remotely from home um i never left the house for three weeks yes to go nowhere to go nowhere at to all. do nothing for three weeks and then when i did leave it was to go to uh a drive-thru yep to get something to eat yep now fortunately with both of our jobs we are still able to work uh kim's working totally from home and we have an office set up in the up, one of the upstairs bedrooms. I work uh, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and uh, to make sure that <clears throat> things get taken care of within our community for our, our school-aged children. So again, we're fortunate to still be working, but uh, the virus itself has taken a toll on our lives just as it probably has with your lives as well. So we finally, we were supposed to, as you, many of you know, we have a seasonal site. We were supposed to check it on March 29th and they pushed it back to, to March, I'm sorry, May 1st. Um, again, it's fine by me because I was worried about the whole thing anyway. So we came in on March, on March 1st. We got to see a lot of our seasonal friends, which was actually you know good to see them so we did the whole social distancing and you know um not hugging each other yep got we the given the covid hug the covid hug you know <laughs> you know that sort of thing so no um, handshakes it was um it was still good to to see them so we finally got all set up here and then at the campground um we actually played virtual bingo which was oh yeah nice and fun so we still all got to play a game together but um we really physically weren't in the same room yep so we've been here at the campground now for four weeks and we reset up our site we put up a brand new gazebo uh, we've got new lights uh, so the campsite is looking really, really good. <clears throat> um, also, again, Kim mentioned that uh, about the social distancing here at the campground. And for the most part, everyone here at the uh, Chesapeake Bay KOA has adhered to the social distancing um, aspect of all of this. Uh, we try not to gather in too much of large groups. Uh, and when we do, uh, speak with people we're at a socially acceptable distance if you will um, so thanks to the KOA uh, they're keeping things in order the way it should be so we feel somewhat safe while we're here yeah we went to uh, out to lunch yesterday which was the first time since the weekend before March 16th we actually went out to eat and it was outside they have a restaurant and they're not sitting inside outside only on the on the deck and the tables are you know far apart and that was good 
that's good as well. We looked at the, at, you know, we could see out on the beach, people on the beach. Yep. Same thing there. People were, you could see families, you know, or small groups and sections separated. And that was actually a good, that was actually a good thing to see. So um, everyone was, you know, listening and, you know, seemed to be, you know, taking it seriously. They um, were abiding by the, the rules that the campground have, uh, have given us because they're they're honestly pretty strict they're yes. not they're not playing around <laughs> yep. they're making sure that everyone keeps their distance so that we can keep the spread to a minimum as much as possible uh, i'm sure they don't want any spikes to happen here at the campground since now that uh, things are opening up a little bit as they are throughout the country but it's a good thing that the management here is staying on top of things making sure that uh, everyone stays separated as much as possible. Right. Now, of course, you know, on a big weekend like this, where we're here for Memorial Day weekend, it's probably to capacity. But again, for the most part, everyone is still keeping their distance. Yeah. So um, we're all doing the very best we can, you know, in this situation. So um, that's really all I have to say I just I realize it's gonna be a while before this is this is over I, I get that but it's just been um, hard but I guess I'm just grateful that we're both you know still working I realize that some people are going through a lot of things um, you know because you can't because can't you can't work, work. Don't that's have a big income, deal can't pay rents and mortgages so we send our condolences out to you guys out there who are having a tough time and just keep your heads up. Um, hopefully things will turn around quickly and we'll get back to the new normal as it, as it, as it will be. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. I felt honestly like in, in our state in Maryland, it is mandatory if you go into a public place that you wear uh, a mask. Honestly, didn't need to be told that. Even before it was mandatory, when I left and I went into a public place, I was wearing, I was already wearing a mask. Yes, we were wearing masks and gloves. Yep. Just to be safe. So then people would look at us like, what is wrong with you? Until now, it's the other way around. It's like if you're not wearing a mask, people are looking at you like, what is wrong, wrong with you? you? Why aren't you wearing a mask? Yeah, so um, I realized that a lot of people, you know, some people feel, everybody has their own feelings about this. Some people feel like you're violating people's rights by making them wear a mask. Some people, the people that wear masks, think when a, if you're sick, you know, you could be violating my rights, you know, you, by not wearing a mask. So it's just, can't we all just get along? <laughs> <laughs> yep. uh, so we just wanted to take this time to bring you guys a video since we haven't been posting. We haven't posted in such a long time. And we've had people that hit us up on Facebook like, how come you guys haven't put out a video? <laughs> we're, we're sorry. And you are absolutely correct. And thank you guys for calling us out. Joanne and Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And we also want to thank all of our new subscribers. Wow. I mean, we haven't posted a video in so long, but the subscriptions just keep on coming in. And a couple of you get a couple of you guys have said that you know it's okay for us if we haven't posted a video because you're playing catch up you're binge watching our videos so we truly truly appreciate that and we truly appreciate your subscriptions yes thank you thank you thank you so very very much and we hope to get to see you sometime in the in the future if you show up at our campground um chesapeake bay koa um just come find us and We'll be more than happy to meet you, of course, uh, at a social distance, of course. Yeah. <laughs> now, we did have uh, two, two families that subscribed to our channel that became seasonal here at the uh, KOA at Sunset Beach, which is uh, the, the Rapper family yeah. and the Hilton family. Yeah. So we just want to say welcome, guys, to the campground. We hope you enjoyed your, you're enjoying yourselves here and we hope to uh, spend some time with you while we're all out here. Exactly. Yeah. 
Okay, we also wanted to thank, um, we have some, I love our seasonal neighbors. Um, Al and Caitlin, um, they watch our, <laughs> we had, RV, um, yeah. yeah, they watch our RV and we also have problems with our gazebo last year, so it was real windy this year, or this this week, so they kept an eye, an eye out on it and so did Pam. Um, Steve, who came over and helped Dave put up the gazebo. Yep. Uh, Brock. Yeah, Brock. Mr. Brisket Man. Mr. Brisket. <laughs> yes. Phenomenal. And um, Patricia and, and John, John for the drinks. Yes. Yeah, so <laughs> and Paul and Anita, just for being good neighbors as 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 well. So mm -hmm. I. Uh, that, that is great. So I just wanted to give a special thanks out to you guys and just to let you know that you all are yep. so appreciated and thank you for they're always you know inviting us over even if just for you know uh, hey a social distance drink yep. you know um, they're all great people so thank you and then also Pam and Kevin congratulations on your brand new travel trailer oh yeah that's right that's yeah. right that's right that's right yep. and um, who else do we yeah, have? Tommy, Rosa, Kim and Steve, you know, just, uh, you know, everybody that we... Greg and Sharon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Jean and Renee. Oh, yeah. Oh, and <laughs> Melinda and, and George. George. George, welcome home, George. Yes. We are so glad to have you back. Uh, Melinda, missed you so very, very much, and thank you for your service to our country. We're so glad to have you back home. Yep, glad you're back home, George. Yep. So, um, hopefully we didn't miss anyone. If we did, blame it on the alcohol. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but we love you all. Yes, thank you guys. Yep. So, at this time, we're gonna close out this video. We're gonna come back to you probably next week because we have some content that we wanna share. Right, Kim? That's right. All right. So, folks, once again, we hope you hit the like button. We hope that you subscribe to our channel. And uh, we look forward to you guys following us. Again, as we say at the end of our videos, here's hoping that you have a, a wonderful, wonderful weekend. weekend. Everybody stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Right, Kim? Yeah, well, obviously, like most other people, oh, are, oh, the people are, I don't want to say that, we're going to take that out.